Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel Nicklix. Uh, in this video, I am going to explain you how to make an uh, increment and decrement counter uh, for a shopping cart website. For example, uh, I have a flipkart.com and here we have uh, this counter variable. Uh, you can say a counter uh, by clicking on a plus button it's going to add my uh, you can say uh, the value uh, and by clicking on a minus button it is going to decrease my value and whatever the value it contains will be displayed in a text box so for this uh, i have created uh, i have created a two one text box uh, to that text box i have given class st and i have created two buttons one i have given a value plus and the as minus and the class is plus and the minus so let's start uh, we can have just a few lines for its styling uh, let it be uh, plus comma minus its border radius should be 50 percent so uh, it's been converted to this circle and we can just put a text over here like like it. we can say tip class main so we can just move it into the center of my screen so it should be a main uh, let's be its margin as 100 pixel so this is a margin and uh, we can just put here as border solid one pixel and the color so here are my plus and minus button so now uh, we are going to just uh, put a like event on this buttons and we can just change its text box width as sign and size equals to 30 uh, 30 will be more size 5 so it has been reduced so first of all uh, we are going to uh, take a plus button so plus dot click function and you can just say here as alert plus. so the event has been fired and in the same case we will put here as minus and we can say here as minus so here's my plus by clicking on a plus button it's going to give me an alert plus and here it is going to give me a minus so i'm going to create a, a variable uh, where i equals to one so plus dot click uh, what i'm going to do here is i have to just increment its value for example the initial value we can just put it to zero so initial value is zero we can uh, write here as input type number instead of text so uh, this is the number and by default its value is zero and now by clicking on a first button we can say here as <coughs> let's say where i is a variable so i equals to you can just pick up its value as dot st dot well so whatever the value will be there uh, it will be moving to i variable so by clicking uh, as it is a, a plus button so i have to just increment a value with plus one and i will just place this value back into that text box so plus so right now it's uh, basically uh, it's creating uh, treating it as a string value so it's just concatenating it so i have to put here as parse and that is an inbuilt function of jquery that will be converting a text to a string so by plus you can just like check over here that uh, whenever i'm going to click on a plus button it is going to increment a value by one and that value has been displayed in the text box so same in the minus uh, we can just uh, first of all pick up the value pick up the value that i'm going to minus it so after minusing like uh, it's a 10 so 
so here uh, we have to write up a condition over here that if it's the value is zero uh, we can say if uh, i equals to minus one we can say i equals to zero so like four five it's four three two one and zero so when i'm going to click on a minus button uh, because i have uh, like implemented i have written a condition over here that if i equals to minus one then i will always be zero so if i'm going to plus this uh, it's working fine and if i'm going to minus this it's working fine uh, but uh, when the value is zero then it will be uh, making up a condition over here that if i equals to minus one then i will always be treated as zero so this is a simple way to create a counter uh, of your like uh, multiple projects or you can just place most of the time this is being placed in a shopping cart website so this is the custom code of the counter uh, like you can say uh, slider or counter uh, like animator animation uh, the way you can here you can see the way how it is being made and being implemented so uh, this was all about the video uh, do subscribe my channel uh, Nicklex for getting all the future updates of the jQuery videos PHP Laravel and Rack videos thank you